Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to Inside NFTs. All right, for really real this time, the Bitcoin ETF has been approved. Yesterday now, one of the most historic moments in Bitcoin's young life. Now, just as quickly as that ETF is approved, we're already on to the next question, when Ethereum ETFs? And guys, I do think that's coming next. Personally, I'm just waiting to see how this impacts the NFT market. So let's get right into it. We're gonna take a look at the Forecast 500 NFT index up in the green 1.48%. NFT collectors clearly loving that Bitcoin ETF news. The price of crypto is up pretty big, especially Ethereum and Solana. I think you're seeing that reflected in the index here. NFT sales came in at 41.9 million. And guys, really interesting stuff on the collection rankings here on CryptoSlam.io. The Gas Hero Common Heroes in the number one spot. The General Ordinals Collection right behind them. They're followed by the Board Ape Yacht Club, those Saga Monkeys, the brand new Age of Dino NFTs, Gods Unchained, Dokio, a couple BRC20s here, and Steady, a brand new Avalanche Collection here at the number nine spot. Guys, a polygon collection at the top and two avalanche collections in the top 10. The past few months, we've been talking all Solana and Bitcoin and the move away from Ethereum. How quickly the narrative is starting to shift now to L2s like Polygon and Avalanche. Now, of course, the top story of the day is that Bitcoin ETF, and it wasn't just one that was approved. It was 11 ETF approvals. And those Bitcoin ETF approvals, well, it opens the floodgates for other ETF approvals. And we already know there's applications for Ethereum. I believe there are for Ripple as well. Enjoy this time right now because everything's about to change with the type of people and money that's coming into this. Now, switching gears a bit, yesterday X removed support for NFT profile pictures. You remember you could verify your ownership of an NFT and it would give you a hexagon around your profile picture. So this could go one of two ways here. Either he's just done with NFTs and doesn't want to support that integration, or maybe at some point X is going to release PFPs kind of like Reddit avatars did. They want it to be an everything app, so make it also some type of NFT marketplace. That'd be cool. Also, shout out to TechCrunch here for using CryptoSlam data. Appreciate you guys. Now, a huge story coming from Azuki yesterday. They've got a new anime series coming from director Goru Taniguchi. Now, he's behind Code Geese, the One Piece film Red, and also Bloody Escape. So now Azuki with their own animated series, and you know they're part of that Weeb 3 world with that new anime token. Anime, once the meta in NFTs, seems to be cycling right back to that here. Now, yesterday, we showed that other side metaverse video from Yuga Labs. They were showing those 3D avatars and a return to the other side coming in February. The video quality was terrible. So last night, they dropped a remastered version of the video. As you can see, crystal clear, 60 frames a second, proper rendering. It looks incredible. So shout out to those guys for making this right. Now, moving on to Bitcoin, you guys remember Luke Dashier as that Bitcoin dev who wants to eliminate Bitcoin ordinals. He calls them spam, and again, he wants them gone. So a few months ago, he submitted a proposal that would actually eliminate these ordinals. And yesterday, that proposal was effectively shut down. But don't expect that to be the end of the story. I'm sure there'll be another iteration of this. This guy does not like ordinals. Now, the biggest mint on Bitcoin this week is actually coming today. And truthfully, this is one of the biggest mints you'll ever see. Okay, you've got a collection of 600 shadows. These are being sold via an auction. Guys, if you bid that max 0.2 Bitcoin, you get a goaded status. And all goaded bids get in a raffle to win a free shadow hat. Those shadow hats are sub 1k ordinals. It means they're in the first 1,000 ordinals ever. And right now sub 1k ordinals have a 0.6 Bitcoin floor. We're talking big money here but potentially very, very big payoff. Also, this is for today. Taproot Wizards say to be watching this specific inscription closely. I think this is their wizard cats. So at this point, we know just as much as each other about what this is. Have a feeling I'll have a nice update for you tomorrow on it. Now we did get an update on the Pizza Ninja ordinals. Those are coming again next week on the 16th. Now they're not cheap. They're 0.0 three Bitcoin, which is over half an ETH. Now we're moving on to art, but starting here with some Bitcoin art, the golden ratio, we've talked about it here before. Well, this artist named Harto just making a name for himself. And yesterday we got news from him that his blocks collection on Ethereum, which is his Genesis collection. Well, he has big plans for that over on Ethereum, but he also has another collection called Paul or Pole, and he is now migrating that collection over to Bitcoin. And full disclosure, I got one of these a few days ago just for some exposure. Had no idea he had any plans for it. And even more art for you yesterday, X copy with a new New NFT for Max Payne holders to burn into. So this one called Bang Bang. You burn your Max Payne plus pay 0.2 ETH and you get one of these editions. And we're going to end here, guys, on Kevin Abosh, who's just been all over my timeline the past few days. Most of that, people tweeting out their purchases from his new mod collection over on Ethereum. I'll tell you this, and a lot of you know it already, but artists see the future in a way that most of us can't. Now, I've talked about Kevin a couple times this year. He's been hinting that he's minting over on Solana. Check this out, because this is absolutely incredible. So it's a 5,000 edition collection. Again, Again, over on Solana, and I don't know when it's dropping, but Kevin minting on Solana is a major win for that ecosystem. Now, guys, I think I actually have some alpha to share with you here. So not only is Kevin minting on Ethereum and now Solana, well, it seems that next week, Kevin is dropping a collection over on Bitcoin. This is coming 
directly from Kevin, who gave me the okay to share that. This is going to be an AI collection again on Bitcoin as soon as next Wednesday. I have no other details, but this will be Kevin's first work on Bitcoin. So we've had these magical phases of art on Ethereum. We saw it happen on Tezos. And guys, thanks to artists like Kevin who are willing to branch out to these other blockchains. Well, I think we're going to see it on Solana and we are definitely starting to see it now on Bitcoin. A salute to you, Kevin Freak and Abosh. Can't wait to see your work on Bitcoin next week. And thanks so much for sharing that news with us. All right, guys, 11 ETF approvals down, probably hundreds or thousands to go. We are still early in crypto and NFTs, believe it or not. So take a moment to enjoy where we're at because we are in a very, very special time right now. So guys, tomorrow, of course, be back with another NFT market update. We'll hit on all the latest happenings. And remember, if it's happening in NFTs, I'm bringing you inside. Until the next time, I'll see you.